I guess we'll start by just talking a little bit about this initiative that's been kind of a year in the making. So um, I came from Ontario, and if you know kind of the northern part of Ontario that I came from, it's, uh, it's a huge travel tourism destination, and in one of the quaint little towns, um, there are tons of murals all over the town. Uh, and it's kind of an outdoor walking kind of gallery walk. Well, fast forward, I came here, and I'm working as the art teacher at the high school, and the students' work is phenomenal. They make my job very easy, and they make me look good every day. <laughs> so I had an idea of kind of meshing their talent with the town. So I went to the tourism committee um, board, and I kind of put this idea out there, and they welcomed it with open arms. Um, they not only secured funding from a grant from Travel Manitoba, um, so everything tonight is paid for by Travel Manitoba. Um, and as well as all the supplies for these uh, murals. Um, but they also helped get the idea kind of ironed out. So the way that these murals are gonna work, we're hoping to have 10 of them done in the next four years. So we're doing two a year. Um, the first part of the school semester, my grade 11, 12 kids work on that first mural. And the subject matter is anybody in town could have submitted a photo to the tourism committee and then the tourism committee chooses one of those photos. So this year, this one snaps on this side, and the photograph was done by John Luigi. What's his last name? Pito. 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 John Luigi Pito. Oh yes! Oh yeah! <laughs> Um, the other mural is done by the other grade 11, 12 class, and that whole class has to submit uh, a proposal for mur murals. And so then again, the tourism committee was brought forth all of these proposals, and the one they chose was done by Albert John. So Albert John's not here tonight, but we can give him a round of applause. Yay. Yay. Um, so yeah, and I also wanted to give a round of applause to Arts Forward and to the tourism committee for all the volunteer work and for hosting the event tonight. So you guys can help us out. Um, and also we've got Zach Weston on guitar, who does a fabulous job. Yeah. Yes. yes. As far as placement of the murals, we're not sure yet exactly where they're going to go. Um, any local business can approach us and give us kind of their name and say if they're interested. And the committee will decide. We're hoping to have them within walking distance of of each other, so the idea is that you could grab a cup of coffee and then go check out all the different murals. Um, we're turning it into more of a tourism initiative by once there's 10 murals up around town, we're gonna start again on the first mural so that people will come back to town and be excited to see the new art that is out there. So, I think without any further ado, we'll have these lovely students. First of all, can you give these guys a really big round of applause? <laughs> nervous about coming, but they, they deserve all the credit. Um, the names of all the students who worked on each mural are taken up on the side if you want a closer look at that. Um, but I'll have these guys help me, we'll unveil them, and then right after that I'll do the draw and some of you can go home with a couple hundred dollar gift cards to some local businesses. So, here we go, drum roll! <laughs> Yeah, so our, our 
idea with having the one based off a photo was to kind of have some more buy-in from the town, and then anybody has the opportunity to have their photo turned into a painting. It's kind of more traditional because it's from a photo. And then the second one is the idea that our students have a little bit um, more autonomy with art they put up in our town, and it's a little more creative because the sky's the limit. They can kind of draw whatever they want. So yeah.